Reba McIntyre, or simply Reba, is an American country music singer and actress. She has sold more than 75 million records worldwide. Since the 1970s, McIntyre has placed over 100 singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart, 25 of which reached the number one spot. She is an actress in films and television. She starred in the television series Reba, which aired for six seasons. She also owns several businesses, including a clothing line. Reba is one of four children. McIntyre was born and raised in Oklahoma. With her mother's help, she and her siblings formed the singing McIntyres, which played at local events and recorded for a small label. McIntyre later enrolled at Southeastern Oklahoma State University and studied to become a public school teacher. She also continued to occasionally perform and was heard singing at a rodeo event by country performer Red Steagle. Drawn to her singing voice, Steagle helped McIntyre secure a country music recording contract with Polygram or Mercury Records in 1975. She relocated to Nashville, Tennessee, with her mother that year. Over the next several years, Polygram or Mercury released a series of McIntyre's albums and singles, which amounted to little success. In the early 1980s, McIntyre's music gained more momentum through several top 10 country songs, including You Lift Me Up to Heaven, I'm Not That Lonely Yet, and her first number one, Can't Even Get the Blues. Yet, McIntyre became increasingly unhappy with her career trajectory and signed with MCA Records in 1984. Her second MCA album, titled My Kind of Country in 1984, became her breakout release, spawning two number one Billboard country singles, and pointed towards a more traditional musical style. Through the 1980s, McIntyre released seven more studio albums and had ten more number one country hits. Her number one singles included One Promise to Late, The Last One to Know, and the Grammy Award-winning Whoever's in New England. In 1991, McIntyre lost eight of her band members in a plane crash in San Diego, California. The experience led to McIntyre's critically acclaimed album For My Broken Heart, which is her highest-selling album to date. She followed it with several commercially successful albums during the 1990s, including Read My Mind in 1994, What If It's You in 1996, and if you see him in 1998. These albums featured the number one country singles, The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, How Was I to Know, and a duet with Brooks and Dunn called If You See Him or If You See Her. McIntyre's acting career began in 1990, when she made her film debut in Tremors. In 2001, she played the role of Annie Oakley in the Broadway musical Annie Get Your Gun. The same year, the WB launched the TV series Reba, which starred McIntyre as a fictionalized version of herself. In the early morning of March 16, 1991, a small plane carrying eight of McIntyre's band members crashed into Olay Mountain near San Diego, California, after a private show for IBM executives. The crash was attributed to poor visibility. McIntyre her husband Narvel and her stylist remained at the hotel because the singer was sick with bronchitis. Killed were Kirk Capello, Michael Thomas, Tony Saputo, Paula K. Evans, Terry Jackson, Joey Chigainaro, and Chris Austin, plus tour manager Jim Hammond. Reba McIntyre took time to honor friends killed in a plane crash 32 years ago. The singer dedicated her current tour to the eight bandmates and crew who died. They were eight leading professionals in the music industry, but most of all, they were my friends and their memories live on. Thank you for watching.